minus 2. 4 minus x squared over x minus 2. What kind of factor do you think is on the top? D-O-S. D-O-S again. So again, if I need to write my little thinking cap here, how would you rewrite 4? 2 squared. 2 squared. Square. Minus x squared. Squares are going to cancel. What are you left with? 2. 2 minus x. 2 minus x. 2 plus x. 2 plus x. Right, so that's the top, difference of squares. On the bottom, how do you factor x minus 2? It just stays the same. Two. And, those x minus two. and then you can cancel, can't you? Mm -hmm. uh, I can. I can cross out the 2 minus x and the x minus 2, but they're not identical. Do you remember what it equals if they're not identical? A negative. Negative 1. So if I cross these out, because they're just opposites of each other, you need to put a little floating negative one somewhere in here so you remember when they canceled, it really left you a negative one. On the bottom. Circle. Right. You can put it anywhere. So on top, I have the negative one and I have the two plus x. Do you have anything in the denominator? Mm -hmm. I put negative one. If you put it over negative one, that's fine. So let me show you all the different answers you could have. You could have that. You could actually distribute the negative and say <laughs> negative 2 minus x. That's another possibility. You could write 2 plus x over negative 1. So there are lots of different ways you could represent it. Which would be the most likely way we would say intermediate math on the final? Like that. Okay. Because it would look silly to put something over 1. That's why we... I mean, but they wouldn't do that negative 2 minus x. Well, that would be the second one. So it just depends. It just depends. Depends on the teacher. But um, we would, this is the least likely to see because we would say, why are you putting something over one? You should know you don't have to do that. Uh -huh. You said you can cancel You can, yeah. But you do have to cancel You have to cancel that. You have to cancel that. Yes. Okay. Yes, you have to reduce that. Uh, let me see if I have any more questions. Yes, ma'am. Uh, have you given us an NEO yet? No, I think only it was one of those tests. Okay, number seven. Multiply and divide.
Notice, there are no plus or minus signs anywhere in this problem, either of them. So that means they're just dating, where you can work on the top and the bottom. So just keep that in mind. If there's a plus or minus, you have to factor. But if it's all just multiplication, you can combine tops and bottoms. That's okay to do. Uh, with letter A, I would first just squish the tops together. If you want to put everything in alphabetical order, however you want to do it, I'm just going to go straight across. So I've got X3, Y4, B7, Z10. So I just squish the top together. <coughs> On the bottom, if you want to try to write the letters in the same order, uh, what would be your first letter? X2. X2. Okay, X2. Then Y8. Just so they're all lined up. B9. Then B9. Z4. And Z4. Don't have to do that. Just want to help a little bit. All right, so now it's just a matter of where do you have more at, on the top or bottom? So for the x's, where do you have more at? Top. The top. And when you subtract 3 minus 2, you just get one. X. Don't have to have the one. Uh, what about your y's? Bottom. The bottom. And 8 minus 4 is 4. Your b's? <coughs> bottom. 9 minus 7 is 2. And then your z's? Top. And 10 minus 4, 6. <coughs> Try letter B. It's the same type of problem. You've got two like this on your quiz today, so you want to practice squishing them together first. I just put them together, but some of you might have skipped that step by pushing some stuff together already. If you look at your X's, how many do you have all together on top? Ten. Ten. Keep this here. So I combine this and this. Makes X10. Look at your Y's though, they're in two different areas. So where do you have more at? Top. On the top. How many more? One. One. Okay, if you look at your Z's, again, I have some on top, some on bottom. I still have more on top. And I've got four more. What's the only other letter we need to work with? M. And they're both on the bottom. So all together on the bottom, I've got. Is the Z right? Shouldn't it be five? <laughs> uh, seven minus three. Yeah, we're just oh, it is seven. Okay. Yes. I'm misreading 